So, Lil Wayne allegedly smacked one of Beyonce dancers backstage. Now, I want you to listen to Joe Buttons speak at his podcast about this here situation. But he won't say any names. But listen. It was an event where something happened backstage that, yeah. Between whom? I can't, I can't say it. I can't say it because the tea is too hot. When something happened backstage at one of them shows. Put some milk in it. But what happened? Was there argument, a disagreement? There was something that went on backstage that would affect the decision making and makers of events like this. Now, you know, Joe Buttons is an insider and he gives a lot of information. He knows who did what, but he just can't say. So it's still alleged. But, you know, Joe Buttons said that. Something was coming down the line when Kendrick was in the battle with Drake and he knew a certain amount of music was going to be released and he said it was going to be released and it was. And the same with this other person who put this post up. Now, listen to this post. It says, from what I'm hearing, this isn't like whole slash Young Money be for anything. Wayne has been tripping for a minute now behind the scenes. Disrespectful and not reliable. So far as to smacking one of Beyonce dancers backstage a year ago. Wayne burnt too many bridges, unfortunately. Now this post was posted before Joe Buttons spoke about this situation on his podcast. But like I said, Joe Buttons can't really say anything. But I do want to say this. In that post, this stuck out to me. It said he was disrespectful and not reliable. Doesn't that sound like a dope fiend to you? Who wants to take a chance and book a dope fiend to do the Super Bowl if he's disrespectful and unreliable. But, hey, we just going to say this is alleged for now. Inside the Mafia, I'm out.